climate change, food security, self-sufficiency, like it or not, these stories are not just concepts anymore. These are happening as we speak. The ones that stir emotions of issues that can make one man stand up from his chair, get out into the streets and make his voice heard. Nature strikes without notice. Leaders are replaced against their will and people do unexpectedly bad things. But here's what's great. Nature also shows its true beauty. Leaders rise to the occasion and people do wonderful things. Stories of tragedy and disaster and even the small ones they have to face from day to day. Filipinos are not unique in their experiences, not alone, that there are clues to help us move forward. People who do things to make a difference in themselves, the community, and the nation. These stories should be told with all the facts, but with an underlying message of hope. I like looking for the bad guys and trying to expose them for who they really are because that's one way we can help the public. If I do my job well, then there's a real opportunity to help people and to make a lasting difference in their lives. I feel very strongly about how this growing economy is trickling down to those who need it most, the marginalized sector of society. I'd like to follow the story of a Filipino family struggling through the economic ups and downs and see at the end of, say, an administration's term whether their life is better. The people who are at the bottom of the pyramid deserve to know and be informed. And these are the things that we can change with information and timely reporting. People get turned off by business news. They think the numbers don't apply. They don't realize poor revenues by government mean they can't lower our income taxes. Because at the end of the day, it is our job to help the audience find their place in the big picture. I especially love the stories of people who have built their businesses and their livelihoods from, from nothing. The questions I throw will allow them to give spontaneous, real, raw, heartfelt responses. I want to see these uh, stories told in a very raw and honest way. We will take you with us as we go along with their journey. There are a lot of things that we don't know about the people that we look up to and we idolize and usually we just see them on screen and I tell their story as, as people. You know exactly it is that they need the best way is really to be able to immerse yourself. We're faced with a lot of challenges and we know that there are problems. So I think these stories should be told in a way where we provide solutions rather than keep underlining the problems. You see how people change, how they evolve, how they transition through a difficult time in their lives. And that, I think, is the story of the Philippines. It contributes a lot to the productivity of a nation, to the health of a nation, to how long and how well we can endure. Imagine the Filipino athlete, the human side of their journey, what hardships they go through, and what victories and glory they give. Any human being can relate to them, whether you're an athlete or not, whether you love sports or not, whether you understand that sport or not. You see the, the triumph in a human being and the way that anybody can learn from those experiences. In an age where people get their stories or information from word of mouth or from social media or from so-called experts, there's no better way to get a story, as a journalist at least, than by going there yourself and speaking to the people involved. Why does it matter that we know and we choose the kind of leaders that we have? Make it relevant to every Filipino. I think Filipinos are one of the more creative races in the world. This is just the right time for us to push the envelope in terms of technology. Whether they be youth leaders, politicians, or people that get on the show, when you allow them to speak and you hear their point of view, it allows us to contextualize an event much better and it allows viewers to make a better decision on things. There isn't anything in the world that happens that you can't find a deeper meaning. Just look. The storytelling must come from the point of view of the storyteller herself, the listener of the story, and then you can put it together and come up with what they say is a whole story or an objective story if you're talking of news. We are ANC, the ABS-CBN News Channel.